So in the previous lecture, what we did was we inserted um, elements in the starting and in the end. Now, how we inserted element at the end? Let's talk about that. So what we did here was we made a new node curve which first pointed towards head and we travels to the last node through this loop right and the last node's uh, pointer instead of pointing towards head we pointed it towards temp temp where we stored the uh, variable all right and then we just simply returned head right now, in this video, we are going to look at how to delete elements from the beginning and uh, from the end of a linked list. Alright. So, yeah. Hmm. So, if, if we have to do this, let's make it a little bit. Yeah. Our input element is 10, 20, 30, 40. Our output is... 20, 30, 40. Uh, that means we deleted the first element that is 10. Right. Now tell me how um, we can like do that. You like take a uh, few minutes. Think of the approach and tell me. And you can like after that uh, resume this video so you might understand like, how to exactly do that alright ok ok so if we delete this number like simply you can delete it but then you cannot like have the other links right uh, I don't understand what I just try to say right here. Suppose this was a linked list, right? Yes. Now if I delete this element, there would be no head and our array would simply be like this. Our link list would look like this, but we won't be having any head right here. So, how to you know like solve uh, this question exactly? So, uh, for this, what you can do is you can shift your head from. Wait a minute. Yeah, from here to here initially head was pointing here but now it is pointing here right you can easily do that okay well um, let's try and write the code so you will understand you know better like what we have to do here right You know, let's mm, yeah. We just erase that data. Let's do uh, see out before deletion. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try before deleting the first element. Display. Okay. Now, now what we are going to do here is we are just going to write C out uh, head as delete B. Right. C out after to deleting. Is going to 
lastly head sorry let's send right equals of node star display right okay there are few things so, there are there are corner cases suppose if head is null what do you want to do return null and if then next is equal to go to null then also we will going to return null because we are going to do the head then there will be no element left in the left list so our answer will be null another thing <coughs> which you can do here is is uh, your new head becomes head next right and you just simply do what return head all right okay. this is uh, this is maybe Now let's try and run this code. See, before deleting the first element, our arrow look like this. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. But after deleting, it looks like this. And uh, this is our desired output. Okay. Now suppose we have to delete the element in the end. If input looks like 10, 20, 30, 40, our output should look like 10, 20, 30. So how to do this question, like this thing? So what you can do is always, if you have to, you know, do something in the end, you should be having um, access of this element, like second last or last. All right. So if we access the this element and if we change its next address which is pointing here and instead of here if it points towards null we would get a solution right let's try and run that mm, what we did was yeah so we just Simply see out the last element, right? Is like say before deleting the last element, we'll simply display head, right? And we will delete the last element through this function delete end. And let's see out. after deleting. head and I'm going to write while 
कर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन नोट इक्वल टू नल सीधी हाँ कर is equal to curve next so after this loop what will be curve pointing to curve would be pointing to element whose curve would be pointing to element whose next elements next element would be null am i right so that if we look at 30 its next elements next element is null right so curve would be pointing towards 30 is that right yes now since we have 30 we just have to change its next to null right, so we'll just write curve next equal to null right and this will have one simply return right now let's um, try and run this code let's see this thing yeah let's try and run this code see before deleting the last element uh, in like our link list was this and maybe 30 40 but after deleting it's 10 20 30 and the last element is deleted right and that is our Side output. So I hope you learned the concept of how to delete elements from an interest, right? And I guess yeah, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.